How do you do anything? Today, we look at the four steps to achieve anything in life and learn from motivational master Tony Robbins the principles on achieving something and taking ownership of your life. If today's video is informative and of value, please consider sharing, liking, and subscribing for more content like this. If you want to make some, no, any, change in your life, then this video is for you. You can do everything and anything you want to if it's something you must do. But the key is always to have a mindset to achieve and follow a strategy to follow through and do what must be done. Today, we learn again from Tony Robbins as we break down fundamental principles and strategy to achieving anything using his methods. So with that said, let's get straight into it. First and foremost, before we talk about mindset, strategy, or where you should focus when trying to do something, we first need to understand how our state of mind and perspective play a role in how we approach something. You see, the world is made up of patterns, and by understanding those patterns, we take control of our lives in the areas we want to. So let's take Warren Buffett as an example. Here is a man who understands financial patterns and specifically patterns in investing that has allowed him to build his fortune. There's a consistent strategy that he's used in his life to make his money and he repeats it over and over again to get consistent results and avoid losses. And this isn't just the case with the financial world, it works in all parts of life. Those who follow football will be aware of Cristiano Ronaldo, widely regarded as one of the greatest footballers of all time now and recognised for his work ethic. Now if you ever watch Ronaldo take a free kick, he goes through a routine, repeating the same process and strategy that works for him to be recognised as one of the best in the world. He places the ball with purpose, steps back 3-4 to four paces and stands legs wide apart and completely straight up. He'll also generally, when actually kicking the ball, take the same run up, roughly the same number of steps and runs at the ball at the same angle before finally kicking it, again with consistently that few can match. The point is, he's worked out a strategy that works for him when taking free kicks, just as Warren Buffett has used a consistent strategy to assess possible investments. What works is repeated and usually when the same process is repeated, if the variables in play are relatively consistent, the results will be too. But most of us are running patterns over and over again, and we want to free that up. To free it up, we got to break the pattern. we got to do things that are different. So how does this relate to state and achieving? Well, you see, what Warren Buffett and Cristiano Ronaldo do is they effectively prime themselves before taking action. They set themselves up for success by repeating the patterns that have worked for them previously. Now let's look at how you can apply this. Think of a time when you were successful. What was your mindset at the time before you took action and what did you do? My guess is you had belief and conviction you would do what you had to, right? Now think of a failure and do the same again. What was your mindset? This time, I'm guessing there were doubts and hesitation in some form. Usually, in those moments when you believed it would work out and it didn't, you can point to a specific moment that ultimately led to that failure. What you want to do is identify what worked and repeat that process. If it was that you spent 10 minutes meditating at the start of the day to help you clear your mind, do it. If it was that you pumped yourself up by listening to incredibly motivating music, do it. The point is, repeat the patterns of success and you can repeat the results. But from there, you'll also need to follow some key principles that will help you deal with any situation and approach it in a way that allows you to achieve success at the end. Now, before I begin, it's critical to note that you have to live life on your terms. Take ownership and be a leader of your life. The reason is that unless you fully believe and commit to what you want to do on your terms, then chances are there will be parts of you that will hamper your progress and lead to disappointment or you being miserable. So own your life and then follow this strategy, which is, first, see it as it is, not worse than it is, see the truth. First and foremost, when you assess a situation, then be completely honest with yourself. What does this mean? See the situation for what it is and not how you feel about it. That means, see what it is you want to solve, as normally when you work towards something, it's to make a change to something you aren't satisfied with. However, then also see it for what it is, which is something you want to change, 
but due to stress and emotional strain it places on you, you see it as something disastrous when in reality, it's something that can be changed if you focus on what outcome you want, not the perceived problem. So the first mandate to leadership is not just to be positive, the first mandate to leadership is see it as it is, but not worse than it is. So let's look at an example. Let's say you're struggling with a relationship with someone you care about. Perhaps in this instance to you, it might be that the relationship is doomed and irreparable. That might be the case, but in most cases, people don't want the emotional stress of a bad relationship hanging over them, which feels like a massive weight on their shoulders. So the objective view to take is, while you might not want to completely save this relationship if the other person doesn't want the same, at the very least, you can at least find some resolution or some form of closure on the relationship to move forward in life. It's a case of acknowledging the truth, which is there might be a significant issue, but also acknowledging the reality that there could always be ways to at least manage things to give both parties some closure and move on without the weight and stress in their life. The second step, see it better than it is. Set your standard. Now the next step of the strategy is to achieve success by seeing things better than they are. But what does this actually mean? Well, if we take our relationship example, I describe the situation might be that you have a damaged relationship that you're not sure is completely repairable, but at the very least there could be room for closure. That in itself will be better than things staying as they are, right? Because at least you get to move forward and not stay stuck under the emotional weight. However, let's take it a step further. Perhaps you've done some due diligence and through mutual friends or a text that isn't completely closing off the relationship, you can see the possibilities of things in this relationship actually being repaired. In this instance, if you want to repair the relationship you have, you have to have the vision to see what kind of relationship you want to make reality. And as with all goal setting and targets, your vision has to be believed with absolute conviction, as though not only is it a possibility, but an inevitability. Can you come up with a vision? Step two is see it better than it is. That's part of what we're going to do this weekend. Seeing it as it is, you got to be honest. And there's not anybody in this room, including me, doesn't have areas of their life that can be made better. But if we can figure out what they are and tell ourselves the truth, regardless of what other people think, then we got a chance to make a change. So once you objectively look at the problem and you have the vision of making it better, what's next? Well, here's our third step, which is to make it better. Unsurprisingly, it takes time and action to make it better. Now, at this point, many will struggle saying they haven't got the resources, whether it be time, money, or something else altogether. However, here's the truth. To quote Tony Robbins, it's not about the lack of resources, but a lack of resourcefulness. Think about it, how many people have come from seemingly impossible odds to achieve unbelievable results? I've actually created a video on one of the best examples many can think of, which is Oprah. She was born in unfortunate circumstances, poverty, abuse and rape, and she lost a baby at the age of 13. She had no links, no relationships or money, and yet overcame all of the odds to become one of the most influential and richest women in the world today. How? because she had the mindset and the resourcefulness to achieve her vision, which was a life beyond what she was experienced as a child and one of abundance. Hey, finally, the third key here is once you see it better than it is, make it that way. You gotta take massive action. You gotta be resourceful. You gotta find a way to make it you want it. So this weekend. So in the case of our example with a strange relationship, perhaps the person you wish to improve the relationship with isn't willing to communicate in that particular moment. That's possibly the most critical resource of any relationship, but that doesn't mean you can't do anything. You see, if direct communication isn't possible, indirect communication through mutual friends or acts of kindness are still possible. The point isn't just do these things and the situation will automatically be resolved, because it depends on the problem to begin with, but rather there are always options available to you to make progress to fulfilling your vision. Which leads us to the final step, which is continue to make progress to be happy. Now, this isn't specifically a step that Tony Robbins says as part of the strategy, but one I'm adding because it's something critical to feeling happiness and satisfaction in life. That is, always continue to make progress with what you've begun. You see, in the case of our relationship example, if you repair a relationship but then don't continue to grow and evolve in that relationship, it will stagnate and again end up in a rut. Likewise, Warren Buffett has had prolonged continued success because he's progressed with the times and with his growth during the years that have passed. 
Cristiano Ronaldo continues to be one of the best in the world as he's made small steps to improve his free kicks so that they aren't so predictable and opposing teams continue to struggle to stop them despite studying his technique. So to reiterate strategy, first see things as they are, second see things better than they are, third make things better than they are and fourth make progress. Now go out into the world take action and follow these steps to achieve the results you desire in life. See, if you and I from this day forward are going to be happy, just remember what we've said. It takes two things, grow and give. A meaningful life comes from growing, that sense of progress, and it comes from having life not just be about me, but about we, doing something that makes me feel connected to other people besides myself. That growth, that sense of contribution fills a deep spiritual need that we all have. If you are unhappy in your life, you got three choices, really two. Blame, that's not a choice, it's not gonna work. Don't blame someone else, don't blame the event, don't blame yourself, just figure out what you're gonna do to change your life. That's my specialty. If you like my coaching or my team's coaching, come visit with us, come to an event, come get a coach, come through a program and we'll guide you through it more than just a few minutes like this and we'll do it directly, an environment that'll shift you. Or change your blueprint. You're going to have to rewire what's going on inside and that's what we focus on as well. So I hope this journey has been an interesting one for you. I hope it's opened up your eyes to what it takes to go from where you are to where you want to be. It takes changing your emotional pattern. It takes bringing presence to your life. It takes realizing you have no problems compared to somebody else and putting your life in perspective. It takes the ability to deal with those extreme stresses that happen in your life by questioning your limiting beliefs. So for today's question of the day, I want to know what is the next thing you want to take ownership of, whether it's your career, relationships, fitness or health, or anything else. Let me know in the comments section below. If today's video is informative and of value, please consider sharing, liking and subscribing for more content like this.